is it that is driving you? Think about that. Are you satisfied with what you got going on in life? Do you want to do more? I mean, if you want to be successful, if you want to do something that's big, if you want to move forward in life, you're tired of what, what you're doing right now, you're tired of your current status in life, the only person that's stopping you is you. Go get it. You gotta be hungry for your for whatever it is you want. Because nothing's gonna give you the satisfaction when you actually go after it. No one's gonna put you in the, in the spot of, of success. You gotta put yourself in that spot. You know, if you want to make make be wealthy and make lots of money or that aspect of the form, you know, you got to put yourself in situations to allow you to get to those points. It's always going to be hard when you first start out. It's always going to be challenging when you just think about it. You know, you're, it sits in your mind, and, and when it sits in your mind, and sometimes you just, you want to give up because you can't let, you can't push from what's in your, in your mind to come down to your heart. And sometimes when if you have something in your heart that you want to do, but your mind can sometimes stop that but sometimes you gotta connect connect those roads to the mind and your heart you know if you want to be one of those kind of people that you know and make six figure income you need to start learning about those kind of people or what they people could are doing to make those six figure incomes you know you, know, you gotta invest in yourself. You gotta teach yourself the way to become successful. Now, successful can be me anything. You know, if you go through your whole life, never getting in trouble, never been in jail, never done drugs or, or alcohol, or and you just kept a straight job and, and you did the normal thing, that's still success, no matter how you look at it. See, everyone just wants to take success and. They put on this high pedestal as having lots of cars and big house and fame and fortune. You know, sometimes success is just the little things in life. And sometimes you just got to make sure that you are as appreciative of those little wins, those little success factors in life. Because you are a champion in your own book as long as you can believe in yourself that you are a champion. See, when you look at yourself... You gotta take a, a inventory of what you got going on in life. If you have a house, you have a job, you have a car, you got food in your refrigerator, you got money in your bank account, you got friends, you got family, you are a success. Stop feeding into this thing where you gotta have millions of dollars in your bank account and you know, hundred thousand more dollar cars and. and fancy friends and good and fancy clothing and stuff. If you just have the basic stuff in life that the next person does not have, guess what? You are a success. Society has ruined people to not believe in their self and the choices that people make to try to believe that and not have faith in yourself is what's wrong. You know, and these, and sometimes you got to set your goals small and build them up. You got to set your goals small and build them up. I'm a success. I'm a great success. You want to know why I'm a success? Because one, I believe in God, my Lord and Savior. But two, the reason I'm a success, I have a job. Number three reason I have success. I got both my parents. I got a sister. I got a little nephew. I got great friends. I got a great family. I have three vehicles. I got a motorcycle. I got some money in my account. 
I pay my bills. I've never been in trouble my entire life. I am a complete success. And I'm happy with that. But there's always room for improvement in your life, in yourself. But the thing about it is you just got to go after it and just get it. You know, you got to develop your gifts. You know, I was listening to Eric Thomas today. And he said that you got to develop your gifts. Even Les Brown even said you got to develop your gift. You know, he made an example was a, a football manager or coach of a baseball team. Excuse me, I said football. A baseball team. He asked a pitcher, what are you good at? What is your best pitch? He said, I'm good at doing the curveball. I'm good at doing this and that. No, he asked him, what is your best pitch? That pitcher thought about it. He said, a fastball. He said, from now on, I want you to just work on that fastball. And when he worked on that fastball and he developed that one single skill, guess what happened? They went to the World Series. Sometimes you got to segregate all these little skills you got and develop one skill. And when you develop that one skill, guess what? You'll be successful. If your skill and you enjoy talking to people, start reading about speakers. Start teaching yourself about speaking skills. Start reading the book to expand your vocabulary. But the main thing here is got to focus on that one thing that will make you great because you are great. Remember that. Terror Jersey level wealth seekers. I'm out.